Hello again, my impulse keys. That's a new word, made up. Um, latest episode, I know in a while. For hey, do one. In this episode, we're going to talk about the train work movie known as Tekken, the live action movie. Do, do, do. Yeah, um, take the area, there was a live action movie of Tekken. It's pretty. Different. Um, is, uh, let me let me get the premise of the film, which makes no sense as it is. There was some great war or something, and then the world was left in devastation. So then they got like corporations start taking over the world, stuff like that. Or divided eight corporations, all this crap, and the corporation that took over America was called Tekken. Okay. And then every year they hold the Tekken, the Iron Fist tournament, sorry. And when they get fighters to fight, and they're all sponsored as crap by the different corporations, that shit. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and then it starts there. You've got Jin, who is a free runner delivery guy, sort of. Okay, because that happens in the game. And then his mother dies. He declares war on Heiachi Mashuma and lots of weirdness happens after that. Um, my main problem with the film, obviously, is the casting. Um, Jim's played by some English dude who is. And more so win shoes on that real life, which I don't get because Jin's style's not even that. And he's got the he's got an English accent, which makes no sense. And then you see his parents in the film, both have American accents. Another slight problem I have with the film, but if his parents both got American accents and they live in America, why is he got an English accent? Don't get it. And that's one of the problems. Two, it changed up the story too much. Like, Christy, who was meant to be like Eddie's protege of sorts. No, she's just some woman that knows mixed martial arts instead of Caparero. Makes no sense. And then they also got Nina and her sister, who were best of friends in the film when in the game everyone knows they hate, they hate each other. And they're sluts because apparently you see a bit with it where. Kazuya's banging away for them. Who would have known? And Law is just some wedge guy, which I don't get because. Sorry about that. Which I don't get because Law's meant to be like Bruce Lee, not hench hench, but like wiry, like fights fast and shit. And that was no problem. Um, Heiachi's hair was just. looked like his eyebrows were going into his hair. I tried to copy the hair from the movie, you know, he's got like a reverse sort of bowl, but he got nothing on the top, and his head spikes out like that. Sort of like that, which I think in real life they should just kind of modernize that, like make him go receding and all stuff. Not having that bullshit like that. Um, <clears throat> what else is there? That's most of the problems. And yeah. Oh, and Hey actually played by the guy who played Shang Song in the first Mortal Kombat movie. Okay, another thing is that prob then there's plot holes in the story as well. Lots of plot holes. Alright. This tournament, you're not going to have any bio-enhanced like, stuff inside you, but yet Yoshimitsu has it. But in the film they change him, he's just some samurai, which makes no sense, because in the game he's actually a cybernetic ninja. One second. Hello. What's up? I'm not, I'm doing nothing, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cause, yeah. Cause it's basically a rehearsal, isn't it? Where they like, see if the film works or whatnot, isn't it? So we get to see it free. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, see you weirdo. Yeah, see weirdo. Nah, so it's just, cause, because Ryan said, because I told Ryan, he was like, yeah, you bring Bonner in it. He asked his manager, like, and he said, yeah, cool, bring Bonner. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah. Well, if anything changes, I'll ring you anyway, and let you know. Because Ryan said, if there's any changes, going to ring me, let me know, innit? Alright. Alright, fat face. Yeah, just be around there, innit? Because I'll walk up and I'll meet you, innit? Then, or whatever, innit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, or you could because the the the, 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 cause around, like, the parking around there finishes at 10.30 anyway, so we can just park by the tunnel, innit? Yeah. Right. Well, I'll ring you, let you know if anything changes, innit? Right, fat face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do that and then. Huh. Oh. Do that and then let me know, innit, you fat face? Alright. Ah, well, tell us a little. Bye. Bye. Yeah, um, that was very unprofessional. Um, crap, what I fell for? Yeah, he's just a samurai. He's not a ninja, he's just a samurai. And then, Brian Fury, he's the only character in the film I reckon he got right because GD, or GD, also known as Gary Daniels to you a lot, Batman, was in the film. As him, he's also in Expendables. As I don't know his name, Expendable, but he's awesome. And other trivia, he was also in Fist of North Star, live anime movie, live action movie. Sorry, in 1994, I think it was. I don't know. So yeah, and the f and then you get Nina is played by some South African pop star. Didn't get that. It's just I don't know. And Raven was totally out of character because Raven would be some bear silent guy. In that film, he's just a douchebag. And then they got Miguel in it, who looks nothing like Miguel in Tekken 6. Oh, the, the film was a shambles. I don't know. The fighting was alright in it. I ain't gonna say it's best. It was alright. And he actually gets taken for a chief in a, in a, for a prick in that film. But besides that, it was better than Street Fighter. That's what I, that's what I could say. It wasn't great, it was kind of shit. The only thing I'd say is slightly better than Street Fighter, as there was a fighting tournament in this. In Street Fighter, there was no such thing, it was just a war, which is stupid because that takes away the whole point of Street Fighter. But anyway, um, that's it, yeah, I'll give that film 0 0.5 out of 5 if I did ratings. So yeah, um, I would say see the film, don't bother buy it. Just, I'm not endorsing downloading, but wait to it, download it or just wait to come on the sky or something like that. It's really not worth seeing. They had to have a take off about Paul, King, you know, Michelle, all these people. How can you do that? You know what I mean? This is retarded. I don't know. And uh, and Law. And he's just some dick in it. Oh. After watching this film, I had to play Tekken 6 to like, get my love back for Tekken. Then that pissed me off because the last boss, Azrael, just pisses me off. the most hardest boss in the game. But anyway, um, watch it. No, don't watch it. Live your life by impulse and peace out, baby.